Eric here from Addictive Tips. So in this video, we're going to learn how to use the Dropbox uploader. So please refer to the description because you'll be able to learn how to set up and connect your Dropbox account with the tool as well as the commands to download the software itself. So the way this uploader works is you first download the code off of GitHub and then you can just CD into the folder on your hard drive and then just use the ls command to list all the files. So the main tool we're going to be focused on is this. Now the way this works is you just do a dot slash dropbox underscore uploader dot sh and then you just type in upload. Now from here just find any folder that you want to, f to upload. In my case I want to do my key pass sh tool. So I would do for home key pass the sh and then because I want it in my dropbox folder I would do dropbox. If you want to add it to another folder later on, like uh, further into Dropbox, you would put in like whatever folder, so on and so forth. But I'm just putting it in my Dropbox folder, so I'm going to do it this way. That'll go through and it'll upload. And then as you can see, Dropbox will tell me that it's changed. So let's go over some other operations that the Dropbox uploader can do. We're not going to go into every single detail because we cover that in the article, but the basic stuff that you would need to, to worry about would be, for instance, the list command. So if I run list, this will list the entire directory, the subfolders and, and such. And uh, I can even do list and then a folder inside of a folder. So if I do And then I can see what's inside of tarballs. And it works for every single one. Another thing that you could do is you could do a move. So we know that another important operation is the delete operation. So to do that, you would first do list just to see everything in the folder. And from there, you just find a file you want to delete. So in my case, I want to delete Telegram from my Dropbox. So what I'll do is go here, type in delete, and then just the name of the file, and it'll delete from your Dropbox. And then it'll tell me up here that it was deleted. So guys, uh, that's how you use the Dropbox uploader. Like I said before, please check the description for the article. We go over much more in detail on how to use this, how to connect everything, and uh, you know, just get started with it if you're not sure. Hope you enjoyed this demonstration on how to use it. Uh, this has been Derek, and I will see you next video.